Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrapping Irish video and on this one I'm going to show you where you can find gold in network switches. So I have a couple of network switches here that I want to take apart. Um, we're all going to take one apart on the camera, the other three I'll take apart off the camera uh, and we'll have a look at the boards. So they are very straightforward to take apart usually. You usually have a few screws here at the back so it's straightforward um, and again this is just another um, way of finding some gold recovery material. So if you're trying to get into this gold recovery and you want to see what materials, you're not sure what has gold on it or what doesn't have gold on it, what you should be looking for, um, check out my videos and you'll see different stuff being taken apart. You'll see how I recover the gold and stuff like that. So we're going to start off here just by removing these screws. Simple as taking out the screws. Anywhere we see a screw, some of them can be a bit rusty like this one, but just remove them and um, we'll have a look inside so again i'll just check the side here so again you'll see there's more screws in here and um, yeah so people are always asking where do you get gold recovery what what should i be looking for so network switches these are just uh this is a tp link network um switch and it contains will contain gold material that you can get some of it will be quite obvious and some of it will be more hidden gold in it so we'll have a quick look we'll take them apart we'll take one apart first um, and then we'll I'll take the other ones apart off camera and we'll come back and we'll have a look at what's inside each one but it's just a matter of removing the screws guys not too complicated uh, sometimes screws might be rusted out and stuff like that so that's where it gets a bit more complicated but this one is just straightforward. There's not too much wrong with this one, but some of the other ones I have to take about are a lot more rusty. And don't forget to hit the like guys and also share it out. And don't forget, you can follow me on a Sunday on my lives, usually on Sunday at um, 8 p.m. Um, GMT time or uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time so please do consider following along so there we go piece of steel that's all that is and we're straight into the actual switch itself and on this one we've got a few more screws in here that we just need to remove so people are probably looking and going I don't see much gold there and um, but we'll show you where the gold is in a few minutes I just see a uh, shark scrapper and e-waste might get really big switches uh, which have a lot more gold on them than these ones will but um, that's a rusty screw there So we'll just pull off any wires that are connected to the this here so we can try and remove the actual um, board itself again there seems to be something holding it which seems to be up around this area so I'm check the underside in case there's any screw hidden underneath here under the sticker which can happen sometimes no okay so that's no reason that board shouldn't come out because i think oh there is a reason we didn't take out one of the screws so a lot easier once you take out the screws uh, on it Got a big lump of gooey heatsink type material underneath there. Um, so well, that's one board. I'm going to put it aside for the moment until I remove the other board over here, which is the power board. So this is where you'll find your copper. Uh, you might get some aluminium heatsinks as well on here. But um, 
it's just mainly the power board doesn't have much cold recovery material on it and um, most of the cold recovery material will be on the first board I took off Okay, so that's our power board. I'm going to put that aside as well. And what I'm going to do now off camera is I'm going to take the other um, the other um, switches apart and we'll come back and we'll have a look at the boards on all the switches together. So let's see what we found. Right, so I have taken apart um, the switches and this is what I found inside them. Well, first off, we're going to have some aluminum. So, or aluminium, as I like to call it. But you Americans like to call it uh, aluminum, so aluminium. Uh, so put that in with all your aluminium. Clean it off first because these little pins here are going to be magnetic. So you want to remove them uh, before you bring it in for um, your scrapyard because they'll dock you if they've got any of that on it. So then we have a bunch of cable, like this type of cable. So I put that aside. Um, we have some pins that... Are slightly gold plated not you a huge amount of gold on them um, and again we have some IC chips that will contain gold in them again we have some more nicely gold plated pins and again some more small chips on them so that's all them chips will contain some gold in them usually um, when I say all them chips um, most of them chips will contain gold in them um, again on this board too that's where the big uh, heat sinks came off that big heat sink was on there, all for that little chip. So that obviously got very hot, that chip. And same with this one here. Um, so again, there are the IC chips. I'll be taking them off. Again, some gold pins in here. This is not worth taking off, guys. It's epoxied copper that's in there. So I don't bother messing with that. Little chips here I'll take off. If there's any MLCCs on there, I'll take them off, but I don't see any. Um, and then on the underside, nothing on there. Again, we'll have gold pins in here. So all these will come off for the gold pins. We'll get the gold pins out of that. Uh, this board was slightly better um, because we've got our gold corner BGA on it and we've got two other chips there that are worth taking out. Uh, we've got our crystal oscillator uh, as well. Um, and again, we'll have our gold plated pins in there on it. Now, this one is an interesting board. Uh, looking at it first, you think there's not much on that board that's going to do gold recovery. Uh, but again, don't bother with them. Um, epoxied inside of them. Um, they're not like um, relays or anything like that. We again, we'll have our gold uh, pins in there. So I'll take them off the gold pins. But also, we have lines of gold pins here that we can take off. So all of them are gold plated pins all the way along. So they can all come off. And on the underside, again, we'll have some little, um, like they're like MOSFETs. Uh, can contain copper but some can and some can't so check them and see if there's anything in there um, and again nothing else really on the underside of that thing now then we have on here under each one of these are these gold pins so they're fairly straightforward uh, where did I put my snap and my long nose pliers usually you can just remove the black that's covering them and you're straight into the pins just break them off fairly easy just move them around wiggle them around a bit and you'll be able to get your gold plated pins so not too shabby and then on the other side we've got these switches and these switches usually contain gold as well so we'll have a look inside one of them and see what's in them so if you can get the ones with the um these switches on them they are usually a bit better so it's just a matter of trying to break the cap off. Um, grab something different to do that with. My, my little um, to cooperate with me. There we go. So we broke that off. And inside you can see the gold plated pins again in there. So all you need to do is break them off and get a little pliers and remove all them gold pins. So again, 
all this along here has them in it. Um, so, and we have one more board to show you. Let me grab it. So this is the um, other board that was there. So um, again, we've got two nice chips here that we'll take off. We had two of these, so I had to break one off, of course, to see what was in it. And we broke it off. And first I thought it was going to be a relay or something like that, but it's not. Again, it's that sort of epoxied copper that's in there. So something similar to these. Um, so you'll see them, they were on, which board was it again? They'd be on the likes of this board here. So when you break them off, that's what's in there. So again, not worth the effort um, taking them off because how are you going to get that copper out? Um, so I wouldn't bother doing it. It's up to yourselves. So again, I know I don't need to break them off. The other one doesn't have to come off there. Uh, again, these can contain silver. So again, maybe worth taking off and having a look yourselves. We've got some pins there and again, some crystal oscillators on here. Uh, one there, one there. We've got some um, MLCCs along the board there as well that we can take off. It's just along there. If you want to take them off for your silver, some more there. And again, we have the um, gold plated pins in there. And we'll also, is there, I think at the back of that, there's some little gold plating there as well. Um, in there um, so that's where I took off that copper connection thing just to see what was in it and um, not really worth the effort to be honest but at least we know now and again on the back here some MLCCs possibly around there and more up here so that's what you'll find inside switches now these were fairly low quality switches guys um, now the power boards as well so on the power boards you're going to find some aluminium so that's aluminium there that's aluminium there um so they're easy enough to take off just remove the the screws here and the mosfets then will be copper so again they're fairly straightforward usually just as long as you can get to the where the screws are you may need to move some of the the little um capacitors out of the way to get into it and just take off the the screws and you should be able to remove the aluminium then so it's not, not a difficult job, it's just to get to them is can be the issue. So we have two more hidden behind there. So again, we have to maneuver the, capa the caps out of the way and um, get into them and just take off the, the screws. And it's fairly easy getting up some nice clean aluminium. Just make sure there's no steel or anything left on it before you bring it into your scrapyard. You don't want them to downgrade you on your prices. Um, so when you go to all the effort of getting it off, you might as well Make sure you're getting the best price for it and that you're not downgrading yourself before you even go in. Don't give the scrapyard an opportunity to downgrade you guys because you've no one to blame but yourself if you leave any of that stuff on there. Um, so there's no point bitching about the scrapyard, saying the scrapyard, oh, the scrapyard this, the scrapyard that. Um, there we go. So. There's our nice clean piece of aluminium. Uh, just take off any of this stuff here as well. You want all that off uh, because when you go in and just this, these bits here are going to be magnetic. So they come off as well. So again, where's my snips or not snips pliers? Usually come off fairly easy. And when I say usually, I mean with a bit of effort. Oh, well, I'm going to have to get the chisel and just knock them off. So usually didn't work out this time. We can see I just need to better pliers than what I'm using. And this one is crap, to be honest. It was a cheap ass one. So it doesn't really there. Well, there we go. We have it off. So just take them off and then you've got your um, clean aluminium and you'll get your better price at the scrapyard now. You've just upgraded that to clean aluminium and any of these little bits come off as well. You don't want any tape, you don't want any paint, you don't want any things that can downgrade you for. So just scrape that off and there's your clean aluminium. So I've seen people get way better boards than these, like Shark Scrapper and stuff like that. They get the one that's full of um, gold cornered BGAs on it. So they may, they'll may they get a board, I think it was E-Waste Mike I seen got a board with 24 of them or something like that of all these type uh, gold corner BGAs, which are brilliant if you can get all them um, on it. Um, oh yeah, over here as well, sorry, this this over here while we're at it. If we can try 
try and straighten this up. And if we pull that off, we should have gold pins under here as well. There we go. Took a bit of effort, but we got it off. You can see some gold pins left in there, but we'll take them out. And all these nice, shiny gold pins can come off and go into my uh, jar of gold pins. It's getting ready to be processed soon. So that's what you'll find inside switches that have gold on them, guys. So if you want to see what's in there, that's what's in there. So it's up to you now whether you think it's worth your time to go after them. And again, there is a lot better switches than these ones I have here. These are fairly low grade ones, to be honest, but um, they all add up. Um, not a bad for a little bit of gold. And again, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes taking them apart and um, we've got our gold out of it. So as always, thanks for watching the videos, guys. Appreciate it. And until the next one, keep safe and um, keep on looking for that gold. It's in the electronics.